Hey guys, in this clip I'm going to go through how to set up ping supper. Right, so once you have it installed, just got to open it, takes a few seconds. And if you're using it for the first time, this list here will be empty. This button here is your master button to have ping supper on and off. And you once you've started adding in games and programs, um, it will you know you, you get individual individual switches for the games one thing to note here is when you're using ping supper do not click on a close button um, say you're in ion and if you if you close it your game will um, almost disconnect immediately okay so and oh and the reason um, why I'm making this video um, is because I, I find I find the instructions that Ping Server gives you um, without contacting the support to be quite lacking, to be honest. This is basically all you get in how to set it up and it, it you know there's no reference to how manual mode should be, etc. And um yes, oh I completely forgot. Um Ping Supper is a ping reducing service, um amongst like others such as Battle Ping, Water Fast, and Reduce Lag. Right. So, to add a game in Ping Sapper, just click on the Add button. You have a preset list of games, which you can add, or you can add a custom game or program. As you may have noticed already, I'm using it as a proxy for TeamSpeak 3 to protect my IP. When you add a program, you can give it, an, here you just type in any name, so just ASDF or whatever, and the main game file here would be uh, because I added TeamSpeak 3 last. It would just be this file here, the executable which opens TeamSpeak 3. And if the game or program doesn't have a launcher, this can just be ignored. So when you click on the next button, it will go to another um, small window which um, asks you to make some configurations, etc. But we will do that in. Um, in the edit profile section which we are about to go through so to edit um, something on a particular program um, under ping supper just click on this banner here and then click on this banner here and in this case it's going to be ion that we'll be looking into this is the um, preset launch file here um, that we gave it uh, i gave it earlier the server will be this um, server load the um, um, how should I put it the location of the game server so because I play in North America the game server will you be you will be US central well services in Texas and tunnel selection now by default it will give you auto but we're going manual and when you click on it it will give you a list of um, tunnels that you can use now for most people uh, most people will find that a location closest to you or closest to the game server would give you the um, the best performance. So, to me, uh, while I have the choice of London, I've picked Dallas because it's, it works better for me and it gives my keeps my um, ping stable and connection stable at around 130ish, at least 98% of the time, which I'm happy with. And and for those who don't know, um, Dallas is in Texas, right? So that's how how to set up in, ma in manual mode and how to select a, an appropriate server for your game. Just when you're done, click on Save Changes. Now for TeamSpeak three, which I added manually, is slightly different. Um, we have the launcher file, uh, the main game file, which should be the same if there's no launcher, and the name we gave it. Um, when I set it up. Server would be US East. Now the reason for that is because I I think most of the um, TeamSpeak servers that I go on are located in the US and I picked US East because you know it's, it's US East is, is closest to to, um, to England and that's why I am. Tunnel selection, right, manual. Um, I'm j I've just picked London here because I'm just trying to protect my IP. I don't mind people knowing, knowing which country I am in. So when that's done, just click Save Changes. 
Excuse me. Mm. Now, how do we know if the tunneling surface is working? So we're going to start up TeamSpeak 3. And when it starts up, a label waiting for connection would come up. And when you do connect to a server, connected, um, you would see a message game tunneled via London 1. London 1 is the um, tunneling uh, proxy that I used. And this tells you that, you know, you're being proxied on TeamSpeak 3. So, when, and when you close it, disconnected. the message disappears and you can hear that Windows um, system sound. And that's it. So that's basically how Ping Sapper works. I hope it helps. Any questions, please ask. And, oh, before I go away, how do you choose your own ping reducing service right so most people would would give you recommendations on what works for them but really you should be trying them out yourselves most of these services have trials um, free trials that you can use doesn't cost you anything and i would recommend definitely trying out battle ping what the fast ping sapper and reduce the lag and there are some others, but they're not, you know, on the top of my head. The reason for this is because um, these ping reducers, they have, the, the performance varies across the globe. And what works for you may not work for other people. So with Ping Supper, I, I do know that while it works for me, it does not work for a friend that I have in, in uh, Western United States. But, you know, even if you're there, you, you should try it out just to see how it is and you know balance, after balancing costs and performance I've selected Ping Sapper to be, to be my um, my ping reducing service and right I think that's it thanks very much goodbye